Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the last part, we got our fairy bow and killed the first Poe sister, Joelle. And in this part, we're going to continue through and hopefully maybe take care of another one. Okay, these things are actually a lot easier to kill with the bow now. As you can see right here. And they're dead. Okay, you want them out of the way because you need to shoot this eye up here. Nah, I'm not sure how that hit, but I'll take it. And now it's all straight. This actually disorients me a little. Even more so than the twisted one, as weird as that is. Okay, so you see like this pretty chest here? There's actually something special in here. You got the boss key! Now you can get inside the chamber where the boss lurks. And move before the floor master gets you. And more bubbles. Die. You guess when you're an adult, the dungeons now require you to have the boss key. And they'll always be in that blue and gold chest. Oh. Just die. Good grief. Carol was saying they're easier to beat with the bow. And then I kept missing. Okay, head through this door. There are hearts over there if you need them. Deku Bubba. Even if you don't want the hearts, you may want to go ahead and jump over here anyway, carefully. Because there is a Skulltula over here. He's right up there. Trying to hide by hiding the vines. Silly Skulltula. Okay, and I actually think that Octorok down there is growling at me because he can't get to me. But we can get him! Haha. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. Head through this door on your right here. And... We have... Floor Masters. Who, in my opinion, are even worse than Wall Masters. Because, even when you hit them, they split into many pieces. If they grab onto you, they will turn back into the giant one. But if you pull, pull off a spin attack like that, you can kill them all in one hit. Which is freaking awesome. Open the chest and... We got a key. And now... Head through this door. And we get to go all the way back. Yay! Sigh. The backtracking in this dungeon is a little annoying, but not as annoying as going forward in the dungeon and realizing you missed the key and having no clue where it is. So up here, up here. I'm up here again. Blah blah. Probably should just cut this out. But I'm not going to. Because it's really not that much backtracking. Okay. And these things are back. Just do it the old fashioned way. Die. Okay. Shoot the eye switch again to make the hallway twisted again. Does that make sense? And go ahead and continue forward.
Oh, I didn't put this up for you. You can actually see the chest on the wall here. And now you'll point it out. There's a treasure chest here. Really? You're so good at pointing out the obvious, Navi. Okay. Oh. Screw that up. There we go. And finally, we can move forward. And in here, we have our second Poe sister, Beth. Okay, see her up there, so... One down. Two down. Could have sworn I hit the staircase there. And three down. Easy as that. And I have to say, these things are really a pain in the butt in Left 4 Dead. I know I keep bringing up Left 4 Dead a lot, but... We fought our first one. It took like a bajillion hits just to kill the stupid thing. And hey you. Over here. Yep, after getting past it, we got killed by the tank in the bow room. So yeah. Come on. You're dead. Okay, that's already two out of four Poe sisters done. I wonder what's in this chest. Anything useful? Probably not. Arrows, arrows, money. What do we got? And we got the compass. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the room we came in from, so. Up the stairs. And head through this locked door. And I think we can trick jump this. Yes. Okay. Head this way. We have green bubbles this time. They're slightly as annoying as they just kind of float in place like that. So you can just kill them like that. Fairly pointless guards, if you ask me. And yeah, that left door would have stopped you if you came here without getting that key. Okay. The way you're supposed to do this puzzle is as you're writing this, you aim through the flames like this, and when you get to the eye switch, you shoot. But that's not the way I'm going to be doing this puzzle. Because for some reason, this works. So I'm going to show it off. Jump over to the platform where the eye switch is. Pull out the inspire and go for it. And that both melts the ice and somehow hits the switch. I don't get it, but I'll take it. That makes that hallway all twisty. Okay, just. I'm in a hurry. And that's what I get for being impatient. Sigh. It's okay, because I actually think I should probably end this off pretty soon here. So let me get to the door first. There we go. Alright. Next time on Ocarina of Time, we'll go even further through the dungeon. See you guys then.